All right, so let's solve a problem which I paid in JMA in 2025. In this question, we are supposed to find the largest coefficient in the expansion of 1 plus x raised to the power n plus 4. And we have been given that the coefficient of the fifth, sixth, and seventh terms of the expansion in are in arithmetic progression. And also we have been given that the n is not equal to 10. So let's first find out what it will be the coefficient of the fifth term. So this will be as this is 1 plus x raised to the power n. So fifth term will be n plus 4 c4 and this one will be n plus 4 c5 and this will be n plus 4 c6 now as we know the if three terms are in ap like a b c then b would be actually 2b will be actually equal to a plus c so we will try to write this down in terms of a b and c so this will be two times n plus 4 c5 and this will be n plus 4 c4 and then the this term will be n plus 4 c6. Now we got to solve this. So this will be 2 times n plus 4 factorial upon n plus 4 factorial upon um, 5 factorial. And then this will be n plus 4 minus 5, which will be n minus 1 factorial. This side, it will be n plus 4 factorial and upon 4 factorial. And then this will be n plus 4 minus 4, which is n factorial. And this will be n plus 4 factorial upon 6 factorial. And then n plus 4 minus 6 will be n minus 2 factorial. Now I have to take common and then like get rid of the terms here. So n plus 4 factorial will be common and then can be taken out. Then 4 factorial can be common and can be taken out. And similarly n minus 2 factorial can be common and can be taken out. So we can just write 2 into n plus 4 factorial upon say 4 factorial and this will be n minus 2 factorial. So what I'm left with here, I'm left with 1 upon 5 into n minus 1. And here I'm left with 1 upon n into n minus 1. And then here I'm left with 1 upon 6 into 5. And <clears throat> you can write this as into n plus 4 factorial upon 4 factorial into n minus 2 factorial. So we have taken this common and this is what I'm left with. So this and this gets cancelled and we are left with here 2 upon 5 into n minus 1. And I can bring this this side. So this will be 1 upon n into n minus 1. And this will be 1 into 6 into 5. 1 upon 6 into 5, yeah. And then I can take LCM and this will be 5 into n into n minus 1. And then uh, this will be basically 2 times n minus 5. And this will be equal to 1 upon 6 into 5. So 5, 5 gets cancelled. Then you further simplify this. You will get 12n minus 30 equals to n square minus n. And then you further solve this. This will become n square minus 13n plus 30 equals to 0. Now you can factorize it by splitting the middle term and this will be n square minus 3n minus 10n plus 30 equals to 0. And <clears throat> from here we get the factor as n minus 3n, n minus 10 equals to 0. So this gives me n equals to 3 and 10. While 10 is not taken because that is given in the question that n is not equal to 10, so n is 3. So we got this as 1 plus x raised to the power 7. So what will be the largest coefficient? That will be my middle middle uh, term, right? So that will be 7c4 or 7c3, whatever you want to call it. So 7c4 will be actually equal to factorial 7 upon factorial 4 into factorial 3, which will turn out to be 7 into 6 into 5 into factorial 4 upon factorial 4 into factorial 3, right? So factorial 4 gets cancelled, this gets cancelled and we are left with 35. So yeah, 35 will be your answer. And that's about this question. So this question is a little bit lengthier. In this question, you have to do a little bit calculation, but that's all in this question. All right. If you got any queries, do ask me in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.